Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to finish with the profile. Um, at least we want to show the user profile. Um, we have one user already. So um, we want to show the, for example, when we type, let's say that this is the name of our um, website. When we type the username, for example, like Scarlett Johansson, we want to show the um, her profile. So um, in order to do this, we want to, um, let's go to the, um, to the URLs in the main project here, this one. So um, here, what we want to do, we want to basically um, call the view for the, um, for the profile in which is this one so to go from copy that builds import user profile good um yes so this one takes the username so here um just here i guess right oh we need to add comma comma so here path let's just leave it um it's just here let's just type the username because that's what it takes so username just the username here and then let's pass the view which is user profile and then the name of this url will be um, profile okay good now uh, comma good so um uh, profile oh sorry it's now yes <laughs> okay now here this is the username so we are passing the username um, very much uh, is her name okay let's go to that okay here scarlet johansson uh, let me see i don't let me see if I'm typing her username wrong. Let me see what this username. Yeah, I think I'm typing her username wrong. Carlet Johansson. Oh, it's double S, I think. Yeah, okay. It's double S here. So, um, yeah, let's check this error that we have over here. Okay, let's go to the profile here so yes this must be the first tag to load just put it on top okay this is the Scarlett Johansson profile um so um here let's close this this is the view um so basically now we're going just going to like uh, modify the profile so this is the i don't remember this is the picture oh yeah this is the banner so so let's delete that so in order to load the banner basically what we do here in the url profile that banner that URL okay and then here profile that picture that URL remember that this um this field we take it from the view as you see here we're passing profile this is the context 
So we are passing here, okay? So if, if here we have um, person, and person, whatever, here will be person, okay? So yeah, I don't think I have to explain that. So, but okay, this is the, okay. So here is pass profile that user that first name because we're getting the first name from the user remember that um, user is a relation with the user model does that so here we're going like a lockup getting the first name so now here oh oops profile that user that last name and then here profile that username and then this one is the That's the name of the field. Let me check this profile info. Okay, save that. Let's refresh. Okay, so this is interesting. So we're getting an error because we don't have a banner associated with this user. We didn't upload a, a banner with this user. So um, in order to fix this, we want to set like a like a static banner just in case when just when a person they don't want to like all of the banner or something so um here in our directory let's go to the um static and then let's create a new folder let's name it like ing so here will be like the basically like default pictures so um, let's go to downloads. I have a no banner picture already. You can just download this one or get yours you on. I don't know. So I have my no banner picture and also I have my no avatar picture just in case a user don't want to like upload the picture. So yeah, no avatar and no banner picture. Okay, so, oops. so now what we do is we create a conditional here. If profile that banner. So if the profile has a banner, just load this, okay? Oops. Else just well if the person doesn't have a prof a uh, picture. So what we do, we're going to um basically go to the static files so static img that's where we put the picture and the name let me check the name of the picture no banner so here will be no banner that yeah okay Move that like that so you can kind of like see the flow. We close the conditional and if good. So now we do the same thing for the profile picture. So if profile picture Copy this one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
we need to start with static ing no yeah like no avatar okay save that um now let's refresh oh yeah we didn't <laughs> we forgot to close the conditional and if here we go this is our this is the no banner <laughs> and this is her profile picture oh the user is now loading let me check um, oh yeah i know so the username is not associated with the profile model it's associated with the user so let's choose user that username okay let's refresh and here we have so um let's fix this um so now here in the edit profile button so if it's the currently user for example like Scarlett Johansson is logging her uh, profile we want to show this edit profile so she can edit the her profile but if it's just another user they're just like in her profile we don't want to show this button so in order to fix that we just create a condition on here um, if user that is authenticated this is a method formation and user equals profile that user so basically what we're doing is like if the person is authenticated and the person this person equals to the person from the profile we want to show the button if not um i don't know we just leave it there i guess <laughs> But yeah, so we don't have to create anything else because if it doesn't, if it's the person is not, we just you don't show that. So we can just close our conditional here. So and if, um, and then here we can URL and then take the user to the URL for edit profile, which is, uh, let me check here, edit profile, this is the name. So let's copy this one and paste it over here. Okay, save, refresh. Okay, why is it not showing? Because um, by, um, the user Byron so it won't work so if we go to pyron here you will see that it's showing i have like all of this none because um i didn't like i did my profile and as you can see here the banner and the user is working so um let's try editing my profile so let's go here oh yeah so we are we forgot to put the um so basically we forgot to put the the banner um file here so um yeah let's just fix that um let's go to the let's close this and then go templates Registration edit profile. Okay, so here we are. We can just copy this one and then like paste it over here, right? So um, here we put um, we just change this one. I just put picture and then here. 
your banner. Okay, picture banner. Okay, that's for the edit profile. So now let's go to the forms. Yep, it's there, but it's not here. So let's add it here in our fields. Okay, banner. Let's save that. Um, okay, let's close. Let's go to the views. Let's check edit profile. Okay, okay. Now let's refresh. Okay, here, here, here we have the picture and the profile. So let's go, let's, let's get a picture. Uh, my profile picture here. <laughs> and my banner, let's get a banner. Let me see. Oh yeah, this one banner. And then here. github.com oh <laughs> oops so here we put okay um bio oops iphone Let's check. Oops, now here. Here, let's check our models. Where is it crashing? Views by one. So, wait, what? Oh, 91. Okay. Profile safe. Picture, banner. Profile pick name is not defined. All those twenty nine. Oh, okay, I see. So here we need to copy this and paste it here. We forgot to do that here in the banner. Okay, let's go back <laughs> and let's click update and okay it should work okay this is of course again this is redirecting us to the index so let's go to the user and here we go we have the picture name username blah, 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 and the edit profile working and with the, all the um instantiated like data and stuff so so yeah so what's next um, is the profile and the tiers for each user. Um, when we do that, we can continue with the, um, when we do that, we can continue with this section over here. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye.